Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and join the family because you don't want to miss out on any of my future videos. So in today's video, you guys, I'm going to be sharing what I have learned being a wife for three years. So I'm recording this video before my three year anniversary and I may be posting it right after my anniversary. So I'm just so excited to actually get this video out because you guys, it has been three years. Like. I know you guys remember when I got engaged. I know you guys remember when I got married. So, and if you haven't seen any of those videos, please make sure to go check them out. And yeah, we're actually just gonna get right into this video. So just to say before I get started is I am going to be sharing my experiences being Caleb's wife. Everybody's experience is going to be totally different being a wife. So I just want to just throw that out there before I get started. So the first thing that I learned being a wife is my single days has vanished. Like my single days were literally totally done right after like I got married or I mean even dating. But what I mean by that is certain single qualities that I had were no longer going into my married season. So things that I was doing as a single woman, they were no longer around because I was now a wife. I'm, I'm now a wife. So I really noticed that, you know, just even in the moments of dating too, like things were just different. I mean, things were really different, but actually going into being becoming a wife, it was totally different compared to even my single days and my dating days and engaged days. Like everything became so different. But some things that were still acceptable in going into being married was still having certain qualities and certain qualities that I held as being a single woman was having good organizational skills and also budgeting properly. So those were a few areas where my husband was kind of weak in, but I was stronger in. So it really helped helped us out, you know, in those areas, you know, some qualities that my husband has that I was weaker in, we came together and boom, like everything was good. So those are some good things when it comes down to having some single qualities, but Ex man, it, they have to be acceptable, okay? They really have to be acceptable qualities when going into being married. So the second thing that I learned being a wife is finding comfort in my husband. My husband has such a sweet and calm spirit about him. And I really noticed that when being married to him, I was noticing that he was, he's always just so calm, so relaxed and I, we could literally be going through the toughest season in our life, but when he comes to me and tells me that everything is gonna be okay, I know that it's going to be okay. And I have no more worry or no more doubt. And another thing is never walked on eggshells around him. It's just always so calm, you know, when I'm with my husband, we're always laughing, always just having a good time. Like, and I feel like I'm like, the, pretty much putting everything into one because there's so much y'all that I've learned. This list is kind of long, so I'm just gonna tell y'all that now. But there's just so much that I've seen with him being a husband, like things that I did not notice when we were dating, I'm now seeing those things with him when being a husband. And we have been married for three years, like I said, and there's just so much that's going to be revealed when becoming married. There's one good example about that it was when we were at the gym one day and I was working out on like doing something else and Caleb was working out on something else and I was looking over at him. He didn't even know I was looking at him. He just had just a smile on his face. I mean, I was just like, okay, you know, everybody else around here is looking upset and mad. You know, when you're working out, you kind of just had like this mug on your face, but he was just joyful you know and I really seen the Ruach within him and I seen the I seen Yusha on him and it was it was just a beautiful moment like you know although we were at the gym and stuff I just seen that gentleness on him and that's why I'm I just find so much comfort in him all the time so this goes into my 
third thing that I've learned, and that is not being afraid to share things with my husband. That could be an idea or that could be something like it's a struggle. And I'm never afraid of sharing things with him because once I share it with him, literally it's like the bricks are off of my shoulder. And, you know, I feel so relieved when I share things with him instead of holding it in. And every time I do share something with him, his response is always perfect. He comes with scripture. It's something biblical. It's never a response of an opinion that he has. It's always going to be either, okay, we got to pray about this, or this is what it says in the word, or it's, it's always that, literally. <laughs> like, it is always that, and I love that about him because we find ourselves talking to our fam family member or friend, telling them what we're going through or giving an idea, and they can come back with their own thought or their opinion about it and it's really not helpful I mean sometimes it may be helpful but when you really want that true advice it has to come from scripture because the word is our lifestyle like the word is our roadmap and when someone comes to me with scripture to back it up it's perfect like that's like the best response ever and that's what my husband does all the time so the fourth thing that I've learned too and I was doing this before I got married is praying for my marriage and praying for my husband this never gets old like this is literally like the first thing because this is so important when being married like you always want to make sure prayer is the first thing that you do especially praying for your marriage and your spouse. So the fifth thing that I've learned is finding ways to be a better wife. As I have been reading my devotional, and this is from uh, Dr. Miles Monroe, the author is Dr. Miles Monroe, and it's a woman of purpose, of power, and prayer. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, y'all know literally every Sunday I just I explain what I've learned. Um, about my devotional on there. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, please make sure to follow me on Instagram so y'all can see what I post every Sunday about, about this devotional because it has become so helpful for me. I've learned so much in this devotional about just being a wife or things to look for in, in your husband, just everything like this has helped me so much. And I've also been listening to certain sermons as well by Dr. Miles Monroe too, because he has some amazing sermons about qualities of a wife and how to look like the perfect lady. It, his videos, I mean, his sermons are so helpful. And that's some things that I've been trying to do um, while being a wife. And I always want to make sure I'm growing and changing. I never want to stay the same because we're going to be married for forever. I don't want to stay the same Kelsey like I was last year. I want to make sure I'm growing. I want to make sure I'm learning. I want to make sure I'm pouring myself with knowledge and understanding. So that is another thing that I have learned. Another thing that I have learned is stop being distracted by things around me and that could be anything that could be with finances that can be distracted by social media I always want to make sure that I am focusing on what's important and that is you in my marriage so this is something that is very important because you don't want to allow your mind to become so crowded with things that it causes you to forget about your husband it forgets it causes you to forget about your relationship with you like you want to make sure that you are keeping your mind focused instead of distracted so the seventh thing that i've learned is when being married for three years is my husband has became my role model i noticed i noticed that he's determined um, his pursuit for the, his vision has encouraged me to reach the same. And I noticed that from even the time we were dating, but really would be married, I just see his, his drive after his vision. Like he's not getting giving up. He's after his vision. And that has helped me so much when I have noticed and seen that about him. It has helped me do the same. I make sure that I'm after my goal and I'm after the vision that I have and after the purpose that the Lord has placed within me 
So I'm always noticing that about him. So the eighth thing that I've learned, and I've learned this in the beginning of our marriage, like literally like the first year, was to stop telling people about my marriage. It's in the beginning of our marriage, like there were some few things that we were struggling with or kind of like worrying about a little bit and I would go to people and I would talk about it, but I stopped because I noticed that with doing that, so many people were getting involved in my marriage. They were knowing, they literally knew what was going on. They knew the struggle. So I stopped telling people about things within my marriage. And what I'd start doing instead or what we start doing instead is actually going to Yahusha in prayer about those things instead of going to others about those things. So the eighth thing that I learned of being married is I've stopped comparing my marriage to others. That was one thing that was really, <laughs> that was really kind of hard for my husband to do because I would always catch him saying, oh, well, they're doing this, or I'm seeing this couple on social media doing this, or I'm like, but babe, our marriage is totally different from those married couples. Like our marriage is totally different. Every marriage is different. So we can't compare. We can't try to do what they're doing. We can't try to find the solutions that they're doing and do those solutions. No, we, we have to focus on our marriage and work on our marriage together and allow you to to direct us i mean because they probably have been married for 15 or 16 years and that's why they're at that stage that they're in right now and we're only in the beginning stages we're only three years in so we can't try to try to do what they're doing yes some things that they're doing may be a little bit helpful but our marriage is totally different we have to be directed by Yahuwah and and allow, allowing him to lead us in our marriage at this stage right now not trying to do what they're doing that fit 16 to 15 and 20 years no we have to work together right now and allow you to guide us so that is one thing that i was learned that i've been learning that i'm still learning is stop comparing i mean that even comes to life in general you can't compare yourself to somebody else's because our journeys are so different and we have to remember that we're not the same like that person we all are different in our own way shape or form that is one thing so number nine is like I said my husband has always encouraged me he's always he's always pointing scripture he's always praying for me one thing that I learned to do is encourage my husband as well um, and by by giving scripture and by pouring the word within him and sharing my ideas like I said before and always making sure I'm asking if he needs help with anything my husband loves to be edified he loves to hear what's on my mind. He loves to hear new ideas. That's just how he is. I've tried to make sure that I'm doing my best and sharing those things with him and encouraging him because as much as he encourages me, I have to make sure to encourage him as well. Okay, so I believe this is the ninth thing or the 10th or the eighth. I lost track, y'all, I'm sorry. <laughs> but either it's the ninth, eighth or ninth. But, okay. One thing that I've learned being married and being a wife is men will still try to pursue me. And that goes for any wife out there. Just to let you know, if you are a newlywed, I think I'm still a newlywed. That's what people say. But anyways, you have to understand that men are still going to pursue you if you're married or not. Or a man, a woman may still pursue you if you are married or not. And that's what I had to learn. I had to learn that men are still going to pursue me. But for some reason, being married, it feels that men have pursued me even harder while being a wife from or rather than like when I was single like when I was single yeah a few people would try to pursue me but at, when I became a wife they was 
they still, okay, let me not say they was, but they still after me, okay? And I'm like, all right, well, <laughs> I have to remember the scripture, 1 Peter 5 and 8, the enemy prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking who he may devour. And that's what I have to understand. The enemy does not like the marriage covenant. So he's going to do whatever he can to distract each individual. So it could be it could be anything. It doesn't even have to be a person pursuing you. It could be simple as uh, a job opportunity and you are so focused and so driven on that job where you forget about your marriage. And it could be, like I said, it could be anything, but the enemy is going to throw anything at you because yes, that was one of my weaknesses. And that's something that I'm still praying on myself is keeping my mind focused. Like I said, on my, on you in my marriage, the men are still going to pursue you. And that's one thing that I learned is that it doesn't stop. <laughs> like the pursuit is not going to stop. So to move on to the next one is I had to learn that the enemy, like I said, is not going to stop tempting you. So the enemy is always going to tempt you. The enemy is always going to try to pull you away from your marriage because he does not like the marriage covenant. He's going to do whatever he can to get you out of that marriage covenant. So the last thing, or I got two more things that I've learned is um, what I've learned is to embrace my husband, love on him, kiss him, hug him, laugh with him, you know, compliment him, honor him, making sure that I am just there for him and always just, like I said, embracing him. So I just love everything about my husband. I love everything about my husband, just down to just his eyes, like his skin, his hair, his smile, his lips, everything about him. I love it. Just his spirit, his kindness, his hugs, like, oh my gosh, everything about my husband is just so amazing. I'm just so grateful for him. And that's what I've learned as being a wife is I have to learn how to be his wife and learning what he likes and being there for him, honoring him, respecting him, and always just, like I said, encouraging him. So I have a scripture and that's Romans 12 and 10. And in that scripture it says, be devoted to one another in love, honor one another above yourselves. So that scripture is so important when it comes to marriage, because like it says, you have to honor one another more than yourselves. When you become married, you become one. You have to respect your spouse. So as a woman, our role is to be the man's helpmate because he is the leader of the home. So that's always just very important when becoming a wife, you have to understand that you're your husband's helpmate and he's your leader. But what I've learned in my devotional is we both have a role and each role is so important. So his role is going to help me. My role is going to help him. The last thing that I've learned as a wife is there's always going to be things that I have to work on. And that's, oh my gosh, like, you know, I'm only three years in and I'm still learning. I'm still changing. But with the help of the Ruach, I am able to get through anything. And although, you know, I may be struggling in certain areas of my life now, when I have the help of the Holy Spirit, I know that I can get through it. But I have to continue to remember that the word is my guide. I have to fill my spirit with the word and making sure that I'm not receiving any other information from a social media video or somebody else giving me their thought. No, I have to fill myself with the word. If I need to work on some things as for myself as a wife, I need the proper information. I don't need 
the um, a fake, I wouldn't say fake information, but somebody else's opinion about something. I need the word to fill me, to help me, to deliver me so that I can move forward. So that is the last thing that I've learned. I know there's it's more because when I tell you when I was writing in my notebook, um, when I first had started with this topic, I sat there for a good two to three minutes trying to figure out <laughs> things that I've learned. But as soon as I started writing, like I could not stop writing and everything just started to come to me. So. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys would like to see more videos like this, please make sure to hit the thumbs up and comment that down below as well. But please also follow or subscribe to Faith Walk Talk because we are going to be sharing our testimony video with being married for three years. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.